so uh, i took the same code okay and in this code now i removed all visualizations so this is my same code which uh, we did uh, discussion in the morning okay so it's the same code uh, that means i created a copy of my previous code so this is my copy how advanced house price prediction copy one i created a copy of it and i removed all these visualization part because i i don't need that okay i removed everything and uh, as uh, my ridge was showing me the better r2 score now so what happened i saved my ridge model that that too i saved in my previous code i have already told okay so in this particular code this particular code i have only used ridge model okay and i have saved my ridge model using job lib okay just save this ridge model that's it okay so and and i remove rest of the things because they are not required so this code is same as of the previous code just i have eliminated all those uh, coding part now visualization and other uh, models i don't required i just use this thing job lib and ridge model so i have saved this ridge model okay after that after that i want to explain you something now listen to me carefully because you know this thing only comes into the mind when we do some experiment and we get the errors okay you know what happened when you are training your model when you are training your model here if you can see you performed that means skewness of the numerical columns you check the skewness of the numerical columns okay then you created dummies also you created dummies also for the categorical columns okay so you know after that you put those entries in your model for the training purpose that means x train that's what you entered in your model for the training so same number of columns we require to put in the model when we are going to deploy it because your model is trained over this much columns similar number of columns i require to put into my model then only my model will give me the answer else it would say that um, uh, initially my model require 260 columns and you have to put in, upload the data which is having 260 columns then only your model will work else it will say no type mismatch if you say sir i am available with the data set which kind of data set sir same data set which we have shown initially and that data set comprises of 80 columns 80 columns and in that uh, i am having the entries i am have respective entries okay for example for example let me share my complete screen now to explain you where you can stuck and your uh, your approach will not be uh, you know you you can't click that where the issue may come when you are going to deploy this model okay so this is my house price data okay this is my house pricing data okay 80 columns 80 81 columns are present i have done pre processing i have uh, i have created new columns by dummies okay i have skewed my data all right so you know the dummies will be created. the dummies will be created according to according to the number of in, uh, the number of what in categorical column the number of different categories which are present number of different for example four categories are present in a particular column okay four categories are present in a particular column so that that much number of columns new column will be created four new column will be created now if you enter if now if you enter for example you are entering only this to perform the prediction and you perform pre processing you perform the pre processing it will not create as much number of columns no it will not do that because it doesn't because this is only a single row and a single row if we if i create dummy also then it will not create 260 columns 
बिकॉज फॉर क्रिएटिंग डमी आई शुड बी हैविंग ऑल टाइप ऑफ कैटेगरीज विच आर प्रेजेंट इन माई डेटा सेट आई रिक्वायर एवरीथिंग देन ओनली दैट मच नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स विल बी क्रिएटेड सो इफ दैट्स वाई इट इट क्लिक टू माई माइंड that here at least i should be knowing how many columns i put into my model for the training so there are 260 columns but what you are going to do you are going to enter only this much values which is 80 columns and when you also pre process this thing not that much column will be created so ye to issue this is an issue so your model will say type mismatch are you understanding my point or not what i'm what i'm saying acha ye this problem i faced बट अच्छा आपने फेस नहीं करा यू हैव एंड फेस बिकॉज यू हैवेंट मीन्स ट्राइड ओवर इट तो वेन यू यू वेन यू फेस समथिंग वेन यू फेस अ चैलेंज वेन यू फेस सम डिफिकल्टी सम प्रॉब्लम देन ओनली योर ब्रेन वर्क एंड यू ट्राई टू फाइंड द सोल्यूशन फॉर इट सो राइट नाउ आई आई ओन आई एम प्रायर इन्फॉर्मिंग यू दैट दिस इज एन इश्यू विच मे कम बिकॉज यू हैव क्रिएटेड डमीज एंड डमीज आर क्रिएटेड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ नंबर ऑफ कैटेगरीज विच आर अवेलेबल इन द डेटा बट इफ यू गिव ओनली वन कॉलम एज एन इनपुट if you give only one column uh, sorry one row as an input to your uh, model to give the prediction it it, it will it will create a, it will also again in uh, in the pre processing create dummies but dummies will be created only for only for the number of category so for example in this particular column only one category is available so it will create only one dummy but overall in the data set there are four categories available so at least i require four four uh, different columns and only this value will be one This value should have to be one. Rest should be zero. Rest should have to be zero, and this only should be have to be one. Are you understanding what I am trying to say? Yes, please say. Answer uh, question. Ah, uh, sir, I wanted to know means you mean to say the number of columns that hmm. we are giving to the training data hmm. Hmm. and the number of columns that we are giving to our Uh, model uh, data, yes yes uh, that should uh, be still match right uh, that should That's match one point mm, and yes. second thing you wanted to say whatever the uh, types of value we i am having under one column yes. that all category should come under testing my data yes yes all should come under uh, this data and uh, you know whatever be whatever be uh, you are giving in the data in the testing that should that should fill up and rest columns rest columns should have zero rest columns should have to be zeros Are you understanding what I am trying to say? Okay, but when when this situation will be there, sir? Every that time this situation, happen. because the reason is my model has been trained over two sixty columns. Understand? Very much important thing. Mm. My model is trained over two sixty. But if you don't give two mm. sixty columns, and one more thing, in right. this order only, in this order only. Remember, right? This much number okay. of columns, and in this order only, I need to give the data. Right. Then only my model will give the correct result. Else it will fail. Right. Mandatory because this this thing should click in your mind. So, mm -hmm. uh, but you will say, sir, we are going to give only this data. We are going to give only this column for the testing. Okay, this column we are going to test. Does it comprises of two sixty columns? No. 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 No two sixty columns. And if you if you pre-process also this thing, what what we did in the pre-processing, you can check in the code what you did in the pre-processing. Just simply. you created you created that means you check the skewness of your data and then uh, you perform uh, the skew uh, let me skewness is removed okay skewness is removed and then you created the dummies you created the dummies so if i give that particular row if i perform this thing this thing on that particular row still i can't create 260 column why because the reason it that particular one row doesn't comprises of that much categories of the data Are you getting my point? What okay. I am trying to say. See, yeah. I am trying to say. Word can. Let let me show you on word. What I am trying to say. Very, it's very much important to understand. Initially, you trained your model over two sixty columns. Or how this two sixty column came? This two sixty column came because, for example, if any of the column. If any of the column, for example, let us suppose X, it is having A, B, C. So dummy, when you created dummy, na, so what happened? In creating dummy, three different columns created. What three columns? X A, X B, and X C. You understand this thing or not? While creating dummy, this thing yes, happens. Yes, sir. 
दिस थिंग हैपन्स तो ये तीनों का अलग एंड देन वी आर हैविंग जीरो जीरो एंड ऑल दिस थिंग जीरो जीरो वन एंड जीरो वन जीरो एंड वन जीरो जीरो दिस इज वॉट वी इ गेट वाइल क्रिएटिंग डमीज ओके बट इफ यू से सर आई एम ओनली गोइंग टू इंटर ओनली वन कॉलम ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ यू आर गोइंग टू टेस्ट योर मॉडल सो वाइल टेस्टिंग योर मॉडल यू विल गिव वॉट यू विल गेट वॉट गिव वॉट दोज एटी एंट्रीज ना ओनली एटी फीचर्स दिस ओनली एटी फीचर्स यू आर गोइंग टू गिव ओके दिस एटी फीचर्स यू आर ओनली गोइंग टू गिव इन टू द डेटा एंड दिस एटी फीचर फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस पर्टिकुलर कॉलम फॉर एग्जाम्पल एक्स इट्स कंप्राइजिंग ओनली ए तो अब यदि इफ यू आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ डमी तो इट विल नॉट क्रिएट ना ए बी सी आर यू अंडरस्टैंडिंग माई पॉइंट इट विल नॉट क्रिएट ए बी सी बट यू रिक्वायर बट यू रिक्वायर अदर कॉलम्स ऑल्सो आर यू अंडरस्टैंड आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से एवरी वन आई एम आस्किंग प्लीज टेल मी यू गॉट तो क्या होगा वॉट हैपन I, I, so for this, uh, we, we will have to take x and y after uh, creating yes, the yes, list, yes. right? Yes, yes, yes. We what you know what? Yes, what we need to do? We need to convert this thing. That means whatever <laughs> be the values which are present here in this particular data, they should be present, and rest column should also be created, and all those columns should have what? Zero. But you need to create those columns also, and the order should be same. Order of this data frame should be same as that of the this data frame for which you are trained. So you are available with X train. You are available with S train. So you know you know what I did. What I did. I checked X train columns. How many columns are there? So these are the columns I am available with two sixty. So you know what I did. I downloaded this X train in a CSV format. I downloaded on my system. Let me download this complete data sheet, which is having two sixty columns. X train I downloaded on on my system with the name house price feature dot csv. It looks like this. This is house price features csv. This is your X train. This is your X train. I down I I downloaded this. You know, rest of the those encoding has been done now. All are zero one zero one zero one. This much number of features are required when I am going to put my data. So it na it 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 will not get finished by only 80 feature. No, it required 260. Then only your model will give the answer. As it will say, type mismatch. So I downloaded this. I downloaded this CSV file. Okay. Then I created. Then I created. That means I assigned the columns to columns. That means I said whatever be the columns are I assigned to a variable columns. These are my columns which are present in the data set two sixty, and I converted it into a list. List of columns. If you want, you can see. I converted it into a list. Okay, you can see list of columns. Here is a list of all the columns which are present. Okay, this is the list. All two sixty. Present in my data set. Till here, you got my point or not? Please tell me why I am doing all these activity. Uh, sir, that uh, first concept that you said that number hmm. of uh, columns should get match. Ah. Could you please explain with the only limited five column with the exam uh, one data value with five column? Ha. Huh. See. Uh, five column. Suppose your data is having five column only in a training data. Ha. Huh. And then how you are expecting from us your testing data should be? See, your testing data should have the same number of columns. It is mandatory because let, okay. let me tell you. Let me tell you. This is extreme columns, na. If you check your extest hmm. columns also, na, it will also same. Extest. Correct. Will same. X underscore test dot column. That will be same. Okay. If I run this code, na, it th that will be obviously same, two sixty length. Right. And, and if you want to enter any data for evaluation in this model, that should also come. That should also have two sixty. But you will say, sir, how from where we 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 will get two sixty entries? We don't have. We we are only available with the features which are exactly present in my problem statement. These are the features which are exactly present in the problem statement. These are the exact mm -hmm. features. So you, you, your your client your client say no, हम तो यार इतना ही करेंगे why we are are we fool that we are going to enter two sixty your client will say we are we will put only this much entries eighty entries 
will upload the sheet of 80 entries now rest you are coding how you will do your client will enter only these much values as 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 present in your data set are you getting my point or not Yes. Then how to overcome how, how, how to overcome the dummies? It is yes. going to get into the haan. number of columns that I know. Haan, haan, but haan. if I use a dummy, haan. then how to overcome in a testing data? That please explain again. Let, sir. let me let see. Let me tell you. Abi, abi, uh, uh, till uh, till here you understood that uh, yes, uh, that uh, there will be perfectly uh, mismatch in the data. Yes. Perfect. Okay. So wh what I did, what I did, see, I found that I need to create two sixty column. But my client or me will will upload a CSV which is having only sixty feet, eighty features. He right. will upload this much only. Now listen to me carefully. With this concept, it it came into my mind. I have already saved my model. Everything is fine. Okay, everything is fine. Then I created. This is my Streamlit code. That is my model deployment code. Okay. So Streamlit, if you are aware of this thing, it's a famous library. Okay, for creating web applications. Using Python, simple Python, Python scripts. Streamlit official website is also present. You can go through the this website. You need to install Streamlit on your machine first. Okay, Streamlit installation is required in your machine. So you need to install this Streamlit in your machine first. Then only you can use it. Pip install Streamlit. Okay, then you can proceed ahead. Check out the tutorial of the Streamlit. Official website is avail available. Simple codes, simple Python code will help you to create a website. Not a big deal. Then I have imported joblib because the reason is I need to upload my model. You know I have saved my model now, that ridge model. So I need to upload that model. I need to use joblib. So joblib, pickle, what these are, what these are, the these are the libraries which will help us in saving our model. Okay, that means in some format. Here is your joblib dot joblib. This is the extension. You know it will serialize your data. Whatever your model learned. serialization that means it's it's a process which we say for saving a model in some format for example numpy format or whatever so not numpy it's not numpy here right now its extension is dot joblib for example there is one more library pickle i can save my model with pickle format also okay so these libraries serialization deserialization this is what happens while saving of a model so joblib library i am using rest is pandas and the numpy you very well know okay i hope i don't know uh, i don't require numpy anyways just keep it then what happened this ridge model which i have saved in my machine na i am going to load it load ridge model joblib dot load just load this model which is present on your machine which you have saved this model load it okay so simple libraries i am going to load my model then uh, i give a headline to my application to my website that is house price prediction app this is the heading of my website you have already seen ha na you are uh, you are already seeing this thing house price prediction app you can change the heading from your end it's up to you okay so this is the heading house price prediction app then you know what i did what this house price features you know that extrain 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 ye ye i have saved this thing i have saved this uh, save this thing into my machine x train ko maine save kara tha in my machine with the name house price uh, features dot csv i have saved this thing to kya kar raha hu what i am doing is here i am uploading that csv file why because the reason is i need to get the columns which are present in it क्योंकि सेम नंबर ऑफ कॉलम्स आई नीड टू हैव इन माय अपलोडेड सीएसवी फाइल सो दिस इज द स्मार्ट मूव यू आर डूइंग सर एक्सक्यूज मी सर हियर वी कैन अपलोड आइदर फ्रॉम एक्स ट्रेन और एक्स टेस्ट राइट एनीथिंग दैट इज हां एनीथिंग एनीथिंग नो इशू यस यस वी नीड टू गेट द फीचर्स हां जस्ट जस्ट हां आई नीड ओनली फीचर नेम दैट्स इट दैट्स व्हाट आई नीड एरिक जस्ट so that we can upload this file ah. in, uh, while deploying right ah, that ah, is our ah, main ah, ah, that's that's the main goal okay. i require the okay. number of features because of right. these Got features it. only my model was trained so i require those features yes yes, yes. yeah so, uh, one question like yesterday you uh, showed us in the uh, i mean uh, aws cloud that just only pick only one column hmm. or one row 
in one row. So we do not need to like to do this just only from X train. We just set this uh, file and just uh, upload it in the. Huh. Uh, upload. Uh, really uh, uh, we, we can do that. See, we can uh, we can upload CSV file as multiple entries also. Okay, okay. I, have, I have shared one CSV file with you, which is having one row. You can upload multiple rows, but 200 MB should be the size. Okay, here it's mentioned. Here it's mentioned. Yeah, this uploaded, the this limit uploaded. is 200 MB. Okay. Your CSV file limit should be 200 MB. If it is less than so that, if if we download like this data, probably it would be like less MB hmm. because in case of train, there are a lot of. No, oh, yeah, uh, you can do that. See, yeah. see, see, wait a minute. See, you know, this thing is something different. It's coming after this process. Here I'm uploading CSV file, which is user choice. So user will not going to see what's happened behind. Ye, this is not visible to the user, ki ye kya kar aapne, what you did. This is not visible to the user that you have uploaded a CSV and you have captured the columns list from that CSV file. So this is not visible to the user, not visible to the client. Client will only be asked that you upload your file. See here, this is house price prediction app and you, you are asking client that kindly upload, kindly upload your, your choice of CSV file. Okay. We are asking the user, but w what happened behind this thing happened behind that you took your CSV file, which was saved on your system and you have captured all the features from it, all the columns, which are present in that. So then I'm asking the client that kindly upload the CSV file. That's what I'm asking to him. Uh, but sir, uh, one question, like hmm. uh, you said, like in house price features, oh. CSV, oh. actually like capture all of features huh. but in when we just uh, train and test we need to drop some features to get the accuracy so in the cases like main uh, csv file and the train csv file see, if you are, are dropping not... anything see if you yeah. are if you are dropping anything okay so then also it will come under x train only now because if you drop something okay yeah, yeah. and uh, x train is uh, x train is in uh, you know after that only you put take the x train now then only you're going to fit it into the model. Now, if you dropped any of the feature that you do prior, after that only the X-Train come into the picture. However, in this particular project, I haven't dropped any of the column. I kept all as it is, whether correlated or whatever. I haven't dropped anything. But if you want, you can drop it. But X-Train is something which will come afterwards. Na? Then you're going to fit it. Okay, with the help of X train only, I trained my model. So whatever be the columns uh, present in the X train, I require. This is a column list, which I've already shown you. So I require as much 260 columns. So right now I am having a column list of 260 columns. And then I ask the user to upload a CSV file from its end. Now the user, if it enter only one row, fine. If it, it enter multiple row, then also fine. All, all the row entries prices will be predicted. No worries. It will, it will predict all the prices. So here it is that uh, I'm going to upload a CSV file. So user will go to see this thing. Let me refresh my page. User will be going to see only this thing. Okay. House price prediction. And uh, I can give a subheading that kindly enter your data set. You can give a subheader also. Okay, here you can write. And after the title, you can write st dot subheader. Enter your data set. So user is going to upload his data set. After uploading, now now listen to me carefully. If uploaded file is not none, that means if the user has uploaded something, and that is of CSV, that is a CSV file. You need to read that file. That will be your data frame. Are you getting my point or not? You understood this code? Tell me if user has uploaded something and it is yes, not sir. done. So name it yes. as a data frame DF. Now in this data frame DF, I need to select object column and the numerical column. I will create object column and the numerical column. 
ऑब्जेक्ट विल कॉलम्स विल कम इन दिस थिंग एंड न्यूमेरिकल कॉलम विल कम इन दिस थिंग आफ्टर दैट आई विल चेक सी दिस इज एन ऑप्शनल ऑप्शनल कोड विच आई आई मैंशन इज देयर एनी सेट ऑफ न्यूमेरिकल कॉलम्स माइनस सेट ऑफ इज देयर एनी थिंग मिसिंग चेक इफ ऑल द न्यूमेरिकल कॉलम्स एक्जिस्ट इन द डेटा फ्रेम इट्स जस्ट अ सिंपल चेक whether all the numerical columns are present in my data set or not if anything missing just tell but actually there is nothing missing everything is fine so let's proceed ahead in my main code i perform this thing skew so this is the pre processing part so either you want to remove this all yes you can do that remove this thing you can perform the skewness yes ma'am ask the question sir uh, now regarding the missing columns hmm. how the system is going to check that it has some missing numerical columns whether it is going to check with our training data set columns uh, no with its own df uh, based on the ah, data based frame. on the data frame which are, which we have uploaded that's what we are seeing okay it so actually to... see you know this this portion of the code na i think i should have to remove it's not mandatory code you know this thing happened when i was trying my code na and i got the error and the, because of the no problem actually no i think this this code should have to be removed because uh, obviously we are not going to get any mismatch now okay so just ignore this code just ignore this part of the code you you should go ahead with this skewness so obviously there will be no missing columns now this was present previously when i was testing my code and i got the error then this thought process came into mind that why this for this uh, is happening okay so just ignore this code not mandatory you should proceed ahead with this thing skewness so i have see i have uh, separated object column and the numerical column then i check the numerical column skewness if there is a skewness if there is a skewness transform it into log Okay, so if your numerical columns are uh, skewed, so you need to transform into um, uh, the log. Okay, that's what you have to do. Okay, and then you need to create the dummies for your object columns. Same thing which we did in our main code. So these things, these things we also did in in our main code. We check the skewness. We calculated the log of the skewed feature. You can see. You can see here. we did the same thing okay here is your code you check the skewness of your numerical column then you created the dummies of the categorical columns whatever you did there here also same thing we have to perform after that this is the one line which will which will resolve all our issues see df organize the columns in the same order as a column list and fill the missing values with zero we want to do this thing this is the this is the point which we want to perform so what i did df dot reindex columns equal to columns list so whatever be the columns which are present in the column list i will be having same number of columns in the df so i am performing reindexing so whatever be the columns which are present in the column list same columns will be now available in df and and if there are new columns created fill them with zero this is your star line this is the logic which i have used over okay over my problem statement this is the logic in a very simple way you will create all the columns as same to the column list and you will fill those columns which are newly created with zero and you have organized this thing in a same order as that of the columns because why column is same because the reason is i am going to put this data frame into my loaded model for the prediction and my loaded model require same order of the columns then only my model give me the prediction else it will not give the prediction are you getting my point or not see here tell me tell me got it what about others
see if you are not confident uh, so you can tell that sir we haven't understood this thing and why i perform you you know about it please tell tell me that you understood or not so i will explain again yes sir understood others please tell me understood understood or not so i i need one more time explanation okay see your time see I, let me tell you your model again repeating your model is trained over 260 columns now you have to input in your train model 260 columns only then then only it will give you the answer the data which you have entered the excel sheet this excel sheet it doesn't comprises of 260 columns you very well know it is not having 260 column this excel sheet okay hpp1 which i have shared with you all it doesn't have 2 uh, 260 columns so if i perform if i perform pre processing of it that means i will check the skewness then i will create dummies also then also it will not have 260 then also to why the i have already told you the reason because in my initial data set i initial on which my model was trained it is having all the categorical values accordingly it will create a dummies but if you give only a sheet a row and x is only only having a so it's it will not create further dummies na because it is having only a value it doesn't have any b and c so further column will not be created now for example only 36 columns will be created this will be supplied to your model model say i require 260 you supplied 3 only 36 mismatch now are you getting my point or not think over it I, and i know that because i have told you yes, na i told you answer that's why you you are continue jab aap khud uh, if you face the difficulty from your end na then you you will thought abhi i and i haven't given you that option okay aap pareshan hote hai isme okay you will feel trouble sir how we are going to get it so understand your model require this much but while giving only one row you will uh, unable to supply it that's an issue uh, sir uh, if here you want to say that uh, when we will apply uh, dummies to the uh, client data huh. so we will not get 262 uh, huh. columns right no, you want huh, to say huh, that ha 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 yes we will get, get let's say we have uh, or uh, let's say five uh, category categorical uh, data unique data in a column huh. so five ro- uh, features will be created huh. but in case of uh, client data let's say they, he has given only one only one column will be there let's say Huh. so only 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 one will be created in that yes, case yes. so other four will be missing so we have to equate huh. those four features with huh. right Obviously, you want to say this that's what that's what i'm okay. saying i require all these features all these feature but they are not mm-hmm. present in your right. data set so how i can get those features so this is the reason so we'll have to bring them to zero okay. yeah, that's why na that's why i performed huh. this this step over my data which is uploaded by the client okay i created a maze everything but what about rest of the columns so for that i am going to create the rest of the columns by this particular approach that means via object columns i will create the rest of the columns i will fill them here here rest of the columns by approach and i will fill them by zero that means new columns will be filled by zero that's it my problem solved now are you getting my point or not are you getting my point or not so whatever be the entries which are present wo mujhe df ke andar i am getting and rest rest i will fill with zero done rest i will fill with zero now tell me are you getting my point or not simple coding approach simple approach i am using got it sir okay it's quite simple just understand where we could struck Okay, yes, so he, here DF will be now having all the columns as same as as same as on which my model was trained. Same number of columns. Now DF will be having nothing. Just put the DF into prediction and print the prediction, and you have already seen. This is the answer. This is the answer which you will get in the prediction. A one more thing, ha. Huh. 
वन मोर थिंग नाउ लिसन टू मी केयरफुली इन योर ओरिजिनल डेटा वन मोर थिंग जस्ट लिसन केयरफुल इन योर ओरिजिनल डेटा यू आर अवेलेबल विद एन ए रिमेंबर है ना दिस इज ओरिजिनल डेटा यू आर अवेलेबल विद एन ए एंड वॉट यू डिड विद एन ए वॉट यू डिड विद एन ए Tell me what you did with any? Filled with non-value. Ah, none. So you know when you are going to upload the when user is going to upload any sheet, na, it's mandatory that user should give none, not any. Okay. Correct. Ah, it's mandatory. See, here I have replaced any by none. If you if you upload that sheet and if n if there is null values. na then it will it will your it will uh, fail your model will fail no so for na na you have to put none 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 wherever na is present fill it with none then only your model work so for example okay let me do one thing let me copy one more uh, okay let me copy one more row okay let me copy one more row for example this is the row Okay, not not this thing. Actual data. Let me copy at least two more rows. Let's see uh, whether my model predict for others also. Hmm. Copy, copy, and let me paste it to my data sheet. Okay, none. Na present na make it to none because my model is trained over none, not. On uh, any, wherever none is present, na just no notify it and convert it into convert it into any uh, any to none. Okay. Ha, uh, here it is also any none. Okay, none. We need to do this. else you need to modify your code and you need to check if there are any null values in the object type make it to none one more coding step will be required okay but uh, you know i am not considering that so i converted all na to none let me save this thing so this is my hpp file now which i said uh, which i shared with you but it was having only one row now i have created three rows i have created three rows now let me let me upload this this is my okay uh, here it is okay this is my deployed on internet this is my app which is deployed on the internet let me browse okay and let me hpp1 csv open now it showed error it showed error that only one answer it gave Okay, one answer it gave. If you perform multiple, it, it gives the error. That means it require your your uh, entry should be only one, not multiple entries. So we have to modify code according to that. That means your model require only one entry. So if I remove, that means this particular code will not gonna work with the multiple entries. one more thing let me remove uh, about two things about two rows copy delete entire row okay let me save it and uh, let me again refresh my page and let me browse the file HPP one CSV open it. This is the predicted price one five four five two eighty seven. Previously was one thousand seven hundred something. So my prices are changing. My prices are changing. And if you want to compare this thing with the actual sheet, if you want to compare this thing with the actual sheet, okay, I. Uh, i guess i use some something uh, th this particular value i guess okay this value or certainly this value i have used in hpp i used 2008 wd 
okay so here it is 2008 WD something like okay I guess this is the value and this is your predicted price it's showing 1545.2847 and you know why this price came again one, one more thing your model is trained and you have taken the log of remember one more thing you have taken the log of your sale price log of your sale price no? are you getting my point or not you have taken the log uh, of your I, sale price okay yes. that means your transform so it will give you the result according to your transform transform value this will be the result according to the transform value one more modification you can do whatever be the result you have you have been there now will our you need to calculate the anti log of it okay here you need to take the anti log so you have to modify the code you can modify the code whatever the prediction you got now calculate the anti log of it and then then show the prediction because for sale price you have create you have calculated the log log of sale price so here one more thing of num p should be included that whatever be the prediction will come give the anti log of it okay are you understanding what i am explaining so don't think that sir you are you are a prepared person no anything comes in front of you all i will discuss in front as any sir ha aap pehle se koi you have already uh, you know learned all these things and all you are going to deliver the same thing which you have learned nahi I don't do any kind of preparation. I already told within half an hour only I did all these things and I am demonstrating in front of. Yeah, पहले से कुछ भी नहीं था. In fact, this code is not been deployed. You can see. वो केगल पे भी you can check out. This code is not उसने deployment पर गई नहीं है. वो तो मैं खुद कर रहा हूँ. I'm doing from my end. And my code is also from that's my code that is not been present in anywhere. वो भी मेरे ही है. Okay, so uh, while discussion, it came into my mind that the prediction which is showing, so if my model was prepared, my target was log of sale price, transformed. Tha. Okay, so whatever the result which I am getting, that is log of sale price. I need to calculate the anti log of it. Then only actual uh, sale price it will show. Am I right or not? Tell me. Are tell me. Right. Sir. Yes, sir. Right. Are full I. do full on efforts for for you guys only and you guys if you sit idle and don't say to to kya hoga mera pura din hi jata in sab cheezon pe my complete day is been invested on these things so you need to calculate the anti log then you are going to get the correct prediction sir if we log only few columns not the all the features no 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 we have to and, do the anti log ha oh, no no only only with the sale price that's it only with the sale price because whatever be the prediction it give the log prediction ha na it is trained according to that means you mean to yes, say sir prediction is coming like 11 point something 12 ah. point something like ah, that ah, yeah. ah, something like that it's coming okay so sir you mean to say if we do the target variable as a log then we have to do the result as an anti log right ha ah, ah, ha obviously so you know whatever the prediction which came to you na this prediction is according to the log which you have taken see in the main code in the main code you very well know how you have trained your model you have trained your model by taking sale price as a target feature and the sale price you know that you have converted this thing into your sale price is your log so whatever the result you got now that is this this sale price log of the sale price Okay, this is log of your sale price. So if you take the anti log of it, that means just re reverse process of this log. Obviously, you are going to get something else that will match with your actual price. That will match with your actual price, which is available on your data sheet. So being as a data scientist, we have to aware of all these things also. So here I haven't taken anti log. This should be kept. Then then you can check from your end whether it's been working perfect or not. Are you getting? Is this okay? Uh, yes, sir.
so whatever we did we should have to memorize that ha we have done this this things these things and we need to apply all these things during deployment also okay so this is my deployed website on the local machine okay this is my deployed website on my local machine and you can see here so what things i uh, we notified that we need to convert our columns into the number of columns 260 this thing we notified second we are going to give only one row in our data set and before that we need to convert na to none and he here is the code which you have to follow here is the code which you need to follow some updations you can do in the code now it's it's your turn that one anti log i already told one updation and pri one prior updation is this thing sir when we are going to give the complete csv file for example uh, for more, more entries also how how my model is going to take it it will give me the complete prediction okay that's that's something which we we have to consider because here uh, we are having prediction okay so it will not be uh, something some change some minor changes will be required in this code so that these thing you have to work out uh, maybe uh, maybe while uh, while we are reading the uploaded data uh -huh. so we will be reading line by line uh -huh. and then we will process we will process each line a time so maybe that way it will uh, process uh, all I, the i reports. want i want all the, for, for example i want complete uh, you know instead of uh, this particular na this particular thing i want all 0 1 2 3 4 it should give me all the predictions in this data frame yes yes so that's what you have to consider how it's not a hard task it's it's simple task only not a hard task but you try from your end how you can get it so that thing and uh, na to none and rest of the code is all same no issue sir i just wanted to know one thing hmm. like uh, uh, whenever we are doing the training and testing split huh. in our first original program can't we have a provision like uh, we can actually physically separate our file into training and testing hmm. and then we only give the training data in our first program and the same testing file we give will give at the time of deployment so no need for extra taking efforts of na and uh, having number do, of columns we can do that no worries we can do that x test here we can upload x test here we can save x test and we can upload x test here but uh, but the point is na your client will not say na ki hame give me access to that his data will be what data right this data uska to yahi hoga house price ka data that uh, your client will give wo to apna ye data right. the client doesn't know na ki what is access and what is extra right 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 our solution will we get uh, solved hmm. temporarily ha ha so we are going to prepare a global solution for it okay so he will give this kind of data Okay, so that's why we performed all the tasks so that usko to your your client will going to see only this thing. What this thing? Why I need to upload it? I need to check the prediction. That's it. Or wo the kind of data which your client is going to submit na that's same original data, like this only. So you have to manage. So after making this file na this this py this streamlit code na. after making this streamlit uh, this file na hp6 i you have to download it you have to download it in py format Rem listen to me carefully those who are working on streamlit first time so you have to download this file in py format dot py mandatory download this file into py format and and copy this file from downloads from downloads copy this file okay show in folder you have to copy this file and paste it into that folder from where you are running your jupyter notebook okay so i am running my jupyter notebook from python folder in my system now you either you are using anaconda if you are using pycharm 
whatever you are using you are using so you need your location is very much important and yesterday also i told this thing yesterday also same thing happened that my location should be perfect where i need to upload my file now where i need to keep my file so you know this is the python folder on my machine where my ip y and b all files are there my data set is there my all installations are there everything is been present in my python folder this folder everything is present i don't use any pycharm i don't use any anaconda no everything is present here only i have installed python in this folder and i installed jupyter notebook on this folder i am accessing jupyter notebook from this this only so if you are using any other platform you need to copy and paste that downloaded file dot py file in that particular location for example you you are working on anaconda so you need to go to cmd okay and you need to upload that uh, okay whatever uh, you are using anaconda you need to upload that py file on your anaconda once uploaded then from cmd of your anaconda you can access it so you know what i am doing here uh, after after uh, copy and uh, uh, putting my file here into my folder yesterday also i told this is the command which i am going to give uh okay 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 this is the command which you have to give streamlit run hp6.py here is a command from where i am giving when i am coming to my c python when i am coming to c python the location where my file is stored so hp6.py is present in my python folder na in my c drive so while coming into that or then i am writing streamlit run hp6.py this is how you can run a streamlit file streamlit run hp6.py python file so it, it will it will look like this local url and the network url so right now i am working on my local url you can see this is my local url local host local host 8501 port is 8501 this is my local host and my app is working here on my local machine so what if uh, i am using google collab then uh google collab then then okay collab is something okay for collab again you have to do the same same things uh, okay same thing you have to do for the collab also you are going to code on the collab you are going to create an ipy and nb file over the collab okay uh -huh. and uh, then in collab you have to upload that file on your drive i guess okay oh, you have same to, repository ha uh, ha uh, ha uh, same repository you have to upload that file on your uh, drive go uh, your drive because collab you uh, work on no no my drive i guess okay yes so you have to upload that particular file on the drive and then try to run from it streamlit run uh, try to run from that from command prompt sir but how the command prompt no, command prompt will not, no no on, on google collab only you have to do i guess okay because i haven't tried over the collab the student uh, they do on the local drive Okay. Okay. Yeah. Ha. Huh. The student either do Anaconda or PyCharm. Okay. Or either simple Jupyter notebook. That's what the student do. Okay. okay. So I, I, I have, have, have. Let us know afterwards when you try. I'm sure thing. you can try for it. Because it, basically, I stuck here only. Mm -hmm. So that's the case. Because you know, when the deployment comes into the picture, now you should be having all the mm -hmm. dependencies. Everything should be present on your drive. So from that particular thing only, now it will, it will work. Okay, so you need to upload that data set in your drive. Okay, right. and you need to upload uh, this file on your drive. From there only, you are going to run it. Okay. Okay, so that's what you have to do. And if you face any difficulty, then please let me know. And then afterward, this is my local machine uh, app. now if you want to deploy this over the internet that means streamlit cloud cloud hosting if you want to do so for that you require your github account okay you require github account
so uh, what what is to be there in your github account see this is my github github this is my github account okay in my github account let me let me make a repository okay you should have a github account okay log into your github account and create a repository repository like uh, you can put any name for example house price house price uh, app okay house price app so make a public repository make a public repository you should have a github account make a public repository create a repository your repository is created okay and here in this repository you need to upload all the files which are required for your uh, application to run so you should have a github account and after having a github account you need to upload all the files which are required in this streamlit hp6 okay all the files you need to upload so what you have to do you have to upload first upload an existing file what file you are going to upload what is required in hp6 what is required in hp6 house price feature csv this is required now so upload it here upload house house price feature csv upload it okay upload this file commit changes okay so this file is uploaded what what you require else you require hp6 again check you require this model because this model also needs to be uploaded then only prediction will done so uh, again upload this model add a file upload a file and uh, your model will be rich i guess uh what is the name of the model rich model job lib okay fine so rich model job lib upload it upload the model also commit changes so model is also uploaded next what you need to upload you need to upload this py file also this python file na that that you are running on the local machine this file na which you are running py python file hp6.py you know that's what you are running over the streamlit na that's what you are running over the streamlit hp6.py so this also you need to upload so upload h uh, this python file also add file upload file hp6.py hp6.py dot py upload this thing this file is also uploaded okay commit changes okay commit changes now till here you understood or not tell me till here you understood or not sir yes i understand sir this one the deployment part also is okay for me i i, I okay thank you i i want the answer for, from all yes sir yes sir understood yes sir mm. okay, let me check how many people are there okay so you need you should have a github account and you need to upload these files your python file your your uh, um this csv file which has been required here okay csv this is also you need to upload model also you need to upload you need to upload all these things one th more file requires to be uploaded that is very important file actually you know these are the libraries which you are using in your code na no? 
these are libraries you are going to use in your code so you need to create one notepad file one notepad file which is having all these libraries these are called as requirements these are called as requirements now there is one more twist here i am using four libraries na no? streamlit jobly pandas and the numpy four libraries okay four libraries you know this model ridge is been taken from sklearn dot linear model see this ridge comes from ridge comes from sklearn dot linear model so when you are going to have obviously you are you are having a job lib you can upload this model with the help of job lib but you require sklearn also because this model is present in sklearn so if i am going to perform the prediction by this model this require sklearn so one more okay that file is not present here that file is not present here but you need to include sklearn also this is point number 1 so you need to list out all the libraries which are present these are called as dependencies you need to create an a uh, notepad notepad file which is having all these libraries streamlit jobly pandas numpy and scikit-learn scikit-learn or sklearn same one more thing which is very very much important listen carefully that is the version so you need to check what is the version installed on your system for these libraries see i did here is the code to test the version i imported all these libraries all these dependencies now for which i need to create a notepad file and i printed the version of them which is installed in my system if there is a version mismatch then obviously 200% your deployment will fail because you have used this version and your file compri comprises of this respective version encoding if there are high if there is some up upgraded version if there is a downgraded version then there is an issue so you need to find the version so these are the versions okay my streamlit version is 1.12 Joblib is 1.3, Pandas is 1.4, Numpy is 1.22, Scikit-learn is 1.1.2. So I have created a Notepad file. I created a Notepad file and I mentioned the version. Okay, Streamlit equal to equal to 1.1.2, Joblib equal to equal to 1.13.1, Pandas 1.4.3, Numpy 1.22, Scikit-learn uh, 1.1.2. Mandatory. So one question, like before, uh, we just run uh, the model in the stream huh. So we just only I uh, mentioned about the secret learn the version, but rest of the like stream lead and uh, pandas we did not mention, and it's not Where? create any. So I mean, in like uh, your diabetes uh, app. Huh? In diabetes app. Just, no, yeah, that activity just, prediction. Yeah. Activity prediction. Yeah. That's what you're talking. in activity prediction also you know uh, actually i deployed that website on on some an another machine some another machine i deployed so that require only streamlit installation and uh, and other but you know the joblib and uh, the scikit-learn version what it requires see that's the game these things na uh, you will understand when you practice here here you you should have the proper dependencies what version is required okay yeah mandatory so these are the version which are present on my machine you might have different versions when you do code na you might have different versions okay so you need to test what versions are available on your machine for these files same you need to create a notepad file which is which will be named as requirement.txt and you need to save here and you need to upload it on your you need to upload it or here on your github add file sir upload file yes sir for a requirements.txt we have to uh, mention the versions is mandatory or uh, just we have to mention the only for us no no versions are mandatory. mandatory version is mandatory okay sir thank you A version is no, you are not putting the version, so obviously uh, you know it will. So here I uploaded requirement dot txt also. Commit changes. 
commit changes so all my versions are uploaded all my file house house fee price feature the csv file my python file my requirement file and my model trained model everything is uploaded this is required so create a github account if not after that create a repository public then upload all these files after that this has the question sir yes, suppose i am doing my research work huh. so is it possible to create my github repository as a private and, and all the ha you can do that you can do that can be possible no nah, so possible. still the, my data is 100% secure ha ha yeah then it will be not available to others if you are making private repository then it's not visible sure. to others public uh, others can see okay and in the private also i can deploy successfully no for ah, yeah, my you research. can do that you can do that okay you can do that so you know after creating all this github repository and all uploading all these files now, now we need to deploy it over streamlit cloud cloud hosting we require na so for that for that streamlit cloud okay this is streamlit cloud there is a website called as streamlit.io/cloud okay you need to sign up there okay and in sign up na it will ask you an option via email or via github so you just click on via github so automatically this kind of page will open so sign up via github so it is that's why it's mandatory first create github account create a repository upload all the files and then github then then uh, uh, open streamlit cloud sign up via github account here is an option called as new app click on new app ha uh, in this new app what is the repository name which i created ye thi na house price app is this or not is this or not this is repository na which i created Yes. yes sir that's one only house price app okay what was my file name my python file name app.py okay okay hp6.py okay. no? this 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 was the name na no? hp6.py yeah yeah sir okay so i need to i need to give hp6.py that's it और कुछ नहीं करना नथिंग सो यू नो यस्टरडे वी हैव सीन लॉर्ड एंड लॉर्ड ऑफ एफर्ट्स फॉर डिप्लॉयमेंट ओवर एमेजन मेनी थिंग्स वी डिड दैट्स आर क्रिएट एन इंस्टेंस एंड गिव कन्फिगर योर इंस्टेंस एंड दिस एंड दैट एंड एवरीथिंग बट इन केस ऑफ स्ट्रीमलेट क्लाउड नथिंग टू डू जस्ट रिपोजिटरी क्रिएटेड सिलेक्ट द रिपोजिटरी एंड जस्ट सिलेक्ट वॉट इज योर फाइल नेम एच एच पी सिक्स डॉट पी वाई एंड डिप्लॉय एंड वेट फॉर सम टाइम ओके now the deployment started nothing to do else your app is in the oven okay your app is in the oven okay the task is going on your task is going on okay the app is in the oven and it's processing it will take some time okay so it's processing all the files and uh, it's uh, deploying there on the cloud service okay you guys are this much guys are present fine there see yesterday we did lot and lot of efforts i hope you remember this thing that uh, it's not an easy task for uh, amazon deployment but here in case of streamlit cloud easiest of all so they are preparing your app sir for next session we can do the deployment in gcp google cloud platform okay this is pos possible sir from your side i will try <laughs> okay see either either you do on amazon either you do on azure and either you do on uh, the google cloud platform anything see your app is deployed and if you want to check it now yellow copy 
and uh, i am i am putting on the comment section that that we have successfully deployed the app this is the link of your app open it ye internet pe aa gaya ab the app is now present on internet it's cloud hosting i'll share on the comment section open it khul raha hai ki nahi khul raha is is this app opening or not so this is the easiest of all and you can again browse a file okay and uh, you can take uh, this hpp hpp csv file open here is your predicted price 1545 that means your app and everything is working perfectly fine that's it got it yes sir it's work fine sir sir yes, i have sir. a small, sir i have a small doubt sir yes sir uh, based on this uh, like data set we we'll predict the uh, house price prediction hmm. that is fine uh, if i have uh, got a another data set lab uh, like uh, another values hmm. uh, how will we predict see for other values na our model is trained on the basis of the feature which are available in our data set this is what happens this is what happens okay and if you are having another data set another thing so your this model will not work obviously because it's not trained for that particular purpose so uh, obviously you need to train your model on that particular model that means on that particular uh, data set your model should be sir, sir for, for that for the end user uh, we can't given the data set right ha uh, for end user na we need to mention that what fields uh, he or she needs to enter okay 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 we are going to uh, make them aware that these are the fields you need to enter you know just like okay. a form filling yeah yes sir then then we have to change the prediction yes right ha uh-huh. then website will be changed yes website will be changed ha uh, website uh, on, the for- on the on the format will also change ha uh, format will change okay according to that so uh, because thank you, thank I, because i don't want any 80 entries 80 entries so <laughs> the user yes, user sir. will think uh, how much time it will take to enter 80 values so that's why uh, for simplification uh, we have used this csv file format just upload it and get the result sir sir for that i, I have a small size not size but i have a small idea huh. for 18 uh, for 18 values uh, why you can't uh, use a pc like a principal compute analysis to decrease the values and or we have to drop the values see pc is unsupervised technique this is supervised learning so i can't yeah, use yeah. pc here yeah yes got, got it sir mm, then uh, yeah okay, okay so we it, can't sir. use pc uh, pca okay so yeah, yes sir uh, it's an unsupervised learning uh, unsupervised so the thing is we can drop some of the features but you can see in your data set uh, we can we can do this thing also okay we can yeah. uh, those who are correlated just drop it yeah got it sir So this will reduce sir, your size. I wanted size. to ask one thing. Suppose on a runtime basis, if I want to see the records, like here many more features are available. But hmm. let's say if I am handling only five to six features, huh. and suppose if I want to take a quick decisions, like uh, whether what will be the weather condition hmm. or what will be the disease condition, something like that. So in that case, I can give any runtime record, and I have to check what will be the result. Mm-hmm. so not through the file but through the inputs mm-hmm. so is it possible the way uh, we did ma'am the you have to uh, ma'am uh, here th- uh, we, that's what uh, he was telling that right uh-huh. now we are uploading a file but uh, uh-huh. apart from that now we can create a column we can create a, you know file uh, that uh, entry form registration form like that these are these are the entries mm-hmm. which you can fill up okay so uh, actually okay. The, at this particular moment now i am having ma- many entries so that's why i haven't created that form like structure okay but if you are having 10 20 yeah. entries now so we can create that thing okay we can create that thing enter okay. the value of feature one enter the value of feature two enter the value of feature that we can create but you know okay. just, just just excuse i took because the reason 80 okay so all together that ah. form whatever we, we are going to fill that will go ah. in the form of the file ah, and file. will show us the predicted ah, result ah, it will show the predicted result correct sir thank you so this is the prediction which you got uh hi sir yes uh, sir as you as you said that we'll have to take anti log of the output that we are uh. getting on uh, uh. streamlit uh. so actually the anti log of that value is uh, coming around in infinity i am checking online the anti log of 1299 okay this is log so 1p i guess uh, we did log 1p just check what is the nt of this thing Okay, wait, wait. You use uh, in your main, na? 
in your main copy no you created the log sale price sir sale price ka to humne log hi liya tha khali ha ha only log we create we can, ha, here it is np log np log so what is the uh, uh, this uh, thing reverse process of this check np.exp anti log hi hai sir uh, jaise 10 ka 1 milta hai okay so, so if i say uh, uh, if i say anti log likhna hai yahan pe np.anti log that's what i need to write ye likhna hai are you sure np.anti log ye likhna hai have you have you checked अन्नो पाइथन पे मेथड तो नहीं हां ये ये नंपी पे देखना पड़ेगा चेक ऑन नंपी नंपी क्या बोलते हैं इसको नंपी डॉट एनपी डॉट एक्सपी वी हैव टू राइट एनपी डॉट एक्सपी एक्सपोनेंशियल एक्सपी दैट्स व्हाट आई नीड टू राइट यस सर ओके और एक्सपी में जो हमारा प्रेडिक्शन आया है वो ओके तो प्रेडिक्शन व्हिच वी गॉट एज दिस मच ओके अब ये तो वन फाइव फोर ये तो ऑलरेडी प्रिडिक्टेड प्राइस है ना सर हाँ ये तो प्रिडिक्टेड प्राइस है यस सर जब हमने एक्स टेस्ट पास किया है जो वो हमारा मॉडल से प्रिडिक्शन आया दैट वी हैव टू कन्वर्ट सी द थिंग इज दिस इज द प्रिडिक्शन सो प्रिडिक्शन इज व्हाट योर प्रिडिक्शन इज व्हाट अकॉर्डिंग टू योर ट्रेन है ना योर मॉडल वॉज ट्रेन बाई टेकिंग लॉग वैल्यूज ना यस सर तो लॉग लॉग अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉग तो लॉग का ही प्रिडिक्शन देगा वो लॉग टाइप टाइप प्रिडिक्शन इट विल गिव आई आई फाउंड दैट प्रिडिक्शन वाज कमिंग लाइक 11. पॉइंट समथिंग 12. पॉइंट समथिंग लाइक दैट दिस इज योर सेल प्राइस दिस इज योर सेल प्राइस दिस इज योर सेल प्राइस 208500 यू हैव टेकन द लॉग ऑफ इट यस यस सर है ना तो योर मॉडल वाज ट्रेन अकॉर्डिंग टू द लॉग वैल्यूज ऑफ दिस and your result will also come according to the, those values only log wali ha na so your prediction which you got na that's that's uh, log values only ye aise hi usi ki tarah aaya hai ye 1545.248 so if you say what is the log of let let me tell you what is the no sir of? when i test prediction is not coming like in this form prediction is coming like 11. Point something 12. Point something some like this That's then i convert by using np.exp then it come in this form like 1500 something or like that okay your prediction was coming but here the prediction is coming like this and i have a log of this value uh, the target value uska log unit is 5. Point something aata hai ओके तो ऐसा है मॉर्निंग में जो सर हमने किया ना उसके अकॉर्डिंग तो जो फिर मैंने टेस्ट किया था तो वहां पे वैल्यू वही आ रही थी मतलब जो हमने जिस मॉडल का प्रेडिक्शन निकाला था ना सर उसमें वैल्यू वही आ रही थी एनपी डॉट लॉग दिस थिंग सो स्प्रिंट व्हाट इज द लॉग ऑफ इट ये 5. पॉइंट समथिंग 12.24 आ रहा है सर So like this, it is coming 12. Point something or 11. Point something. So we have to convert np. dot txt. Uh, so yeah, right. That. So it convert into like in thousand numbers. Okay, this is the log coming. This is the log value for it. And we have trained our model according to the log values only. Huh? No, we have trained our model according to these. Is it okay or not? We have trained our model according to these only. So, its log we took from sale price. And that target, we we put that thing on our target. Okay. So, one thing is. Now, further. Now, you have done. So, further thing, uh, I I just need to put a remark. What is that? In your code, do the modification. In your code, do the modification, and you create a separate column. Isi ko usme nahi rakhna. What what you are going to do? Just create a separate column here. So DF one sale price, DF one sale price की जगह DF one I am putting a remark here. Copy and let let me put here as a वो uh, sale price underscore new. Just create this column. Create this column. Okay, so इसका log की जो values है ना that I can see in this particular. 
and we we will be training our model according to this ha no that's what we are doing according to this we are training to sell price ko drop karenge sell price we are going to drop jaisa id drop kara na similarly we are going to drop the sell price are you getting my point what i'm trying to say yes sir okay to sell price ko you need to drop okay to yahan par ये भी मैं मार्कअप कर रहा हूँ मार्कडाउन ओके सो दैट्स व्हाट यू हैव टू डू और फिर चेक करना कॉमा सेल प्राइस दिस इज व्हाट यू हैव टू परफॉर्म ओके सर ओके ड्रॉप इट बिकॉज यू आर ट्रेनिंग यू यू आर ट्रेनिंग योर मॉडल अकॉर्डिंग टू सेल प्राइस व्हाट लॉग दैट्स व्हाट यू आर डूइंग है ना इसी के अकॉर्डिंग यू आर ट्रेनिंग योर मॉडल और आफ्टर दैट फिर चेक द प्रिडिक्शन वेदर दे आर कमिंग करेक्ट और नॉट यूजिंग रिज रिग्रेशन एंड अदर्स सर इन दिस केस हम लोग का आउटपुट अराउंड ट्वेल्व फिफ्टीन आना चाहिए जैसे लॉग से ट्रेन हो रहा है तो वो लॉग उसका वैल्यू ही देना चाहिए hmm. उसका वैल्यू तो ये इसका आउटपुट ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड है तो ये तो थाउजेंड्स में फिफ्टीन hmm. हंड्रेड 1500 something something like that 1545 this is the output you are getting so that's why i told um, but log ha to iska fir hame anti log uh, kaise bole fir apan how okay so it should be like uh, according to log value around 1015 aana chahiye jisse jitne bhi output hai target variable some something like that so yes wo around 1015 aana chahiye ha that's why that's why i'm saying just kyunki uh, your model gave that okay i am predicting with a 0.9 r2 score this is good r2 score okay so that's why i told that create a new column and then test kya ho raha what's happening there and then check the predictions sahi aa raha nahi aa raha predicted value ko a, a, one one more thing you can do one more thing you can do ki uh, you can calculate the predicted predictions theek hai once your model is trained na once your model is trained so wait a minute sir right now what i did i convert the all the prediction uh, into the anti log so it is correct ha huh. if we are creating new column huh. uh, like we did before hmm. in that case we got uh, prediction in the log form huh. so i convert that into like anti log form so it is okay ha to ye tabhi main keh raha hu aapse do the r and d from your end ओके ओके तो आपको सही मिल जाएगा बिकॉज मॉडल स्कोर ना गलत नहीं है वो ओके यू विल गेट इट जस्ट ट्राई समथिंग फ्रॉम योर एंड और आप देखिए कहाँ अटकते हो हाँ या सर जस्ट लाइक वन केस आई वांट टू डिस्कस विद यू सपोज माय टारगेट वेरिएबल वेरिएबल इज हैविंग सिक्स कैटेगरियल वेरिएबल व्हिच आई हैव कन्वर्टेड इनटू द न्यूमेरिकल वैल्यूज लाइक 0 1 2 3 4 5 नाउ सपोज टू केसेस देयर वन इफ आई डिड मैन्युअली देन शैल आई गेट द आउटपुट एज 1 टू 6 इफ आई मेक द चेंज इनटू एक्सेल फाइल मैन्युअली लाइक कैटेगरी 1 2 3 4 5 6 एनी एनी वन ऑफ द थिंग एज पर द टारगेट मैडम वो तभी तभी क्या होगा यहां पर इशू हो जाएगा देन ओके यू नीड टू फिल अप द दीस ना फाइल्स विद दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग सो इन दैट केस आई विल गेट द आउटपुट एज अ 1 2 3 नो 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 मैम एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपेंड इफ यू डू द लेबल एनकोडिंग ओके तो वो दैट दैट विल बी समथिंग रॉन्ग इज 1 2 3 4 वो यहां पर गलत हो जाए डमीज विल समथिंग व्हिच इज गोइंग टू हेल्प मी बेटर ओके डोंट डू दैट ओके दैट विल बी रियली मतलब वो इश्यूज इशू रहेगा सो हाउ टू हैंडल दिस थिंग व्हेन यू हैव अ टारगेट वेरिएबल एज अ कैटेगरियल आंसर्स हम्म सो द बेटर वे इज टू क्रिएट द डमीज फॉर देम create the dummy uh-huh. and go for that only uh-huh. so do, do do i have to do the log and anti log as well if no, the no, data is no no nothing to do just for the testing purpose na as the question came uh-huh. query came the kind of prediction which you are getting na that's why they asked the question and then they, they did perform so i told them just do this right. thing do this thing okay and check what are whatever the results are coming and uh, just take log and anti log whether you are getting the correct answers or not so she told okay. that uh, yes sir i am getting Okay, fine, sir. Okay, so this is something which R and D you have to do. However, I did changes over the code. I've I've done uh, markdown also, so you can verify them. Okay, you can verify this thing and you can apply. Okay, so my uh, 
a discussion over these kind of projects is na so the thing is there are many things which comes after the discussions it's not like that sir you are you are only using your brain your single brain i can give you the path i can give you the path is this approach correct or not i can give you the path then when when many people sit down and they do work definitely i get the suggestions sir either we can do this change that change and uh, they were getting this so sir can't do anything uh, means everything is it is it or not so uh, definitely there should be people who are working okay side by side and they are learning and uh, obviously i i respect that suggestions came and uh, and what possible changes ca- we can do over the project Okay so uh, let me stop the recording